Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and join the gang. So today we're going to be talking about Sephora. Um, so their spring event is coming up, which means sales. They're having sales people. Okay. So, um, it's like the same standard thing, you know, like three different tiers for whatever level you are, which, you know, that means different shopping dates in different percentages off. Um, if you're interested, I'll have the exact dates and percentages listed down below in the description box. So we're going to be talking about recommendations. So things that I use mainly every day or things that I think are worth mentioning. So the first thing I want to mention is the Dr. Dennis Gross um, face pads. Okay. <laughs> um, so they have three different um, treatment options that you can choose from. I believe the five is just like if you're testing, if you're new to the product, if you want to see how it's going to react with your skin, that one is $17. Um, 30 treatments, well, 35 treatments, um, that one's $88, and if you want to do 60 treatments, that is $150, okay? Very expensive, but let me tell you, they work, okay? So, um, I actually just ran out of mine, so it, this sale is coming up right on time, but even without the sale, I would still... I would still splurge and buy these just because they work so well, okay? Um, I would say after... Five, honestly, is all you need to see a difference. Um, I significantly saw, like, a change in my dark marks on my face. Um, it just faded everything and just made my skin look very, like, just butter, okay? It, it really made my skin look so healthy, so good. Like, it's a bomb product. I promise you, if you're looking to see what it has to offer, just get it. Pharmacy's Green Clean Cleansing Balm oh my gosh it is the best thing to take off my makeup so i use that to um remove my makeup at the end of the day and then i go in with my cleanser or whatever um it is so easy it just like it rubs off all of my makeup my mascara anything that's on my face comes off with ease with this stuff if you're looking for a good makeup remover i would definitely look into the pharmacy green clean cleansing balm so my favorite primer of all time has to be the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, okay? Um, it's the only primer I really use. I don't see myself going into, like I'm not really into primers, but I use them. Well, I only use this one. And it's a, it's, it's definitely a splurge, it's like $50 for one primer. But it just gives you the most seamless base. It's just, honestly something else that just makes your skin like butter okay it fills in all of the pores it just does what it needs to do for the foundation okay i don't care i don't think i'm gonna use any other primer in the foreseeable future um i just i don't really care for them for one <laughs> so this just takes out like the guesswork for me um having to try a bunch of different primers and stuff i honestly could care less so the fact that I have one and actually like it and can see the difference that it makes with my foundation um that's really all I need there's no reason for me to look anywhere else honestly so now let's get into the makeup um I just did a review for this I love it it's what I'm wearing on my face today I'm talking about the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops skin tint okay look at my face she's flawless she's beat she's a tinted moisturizer okay a tinted moisturizer did this okay it don't really look like much but she's cute okay like it just looks like i did more than i did low-key and it looks like my skin what's better name a product that's better oh wait the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint has easily become one of my favorites. It's just so simple. Like when you find a product that just makes your life so much easier, it's just worth it, okay? You just have to do it. It looks so good. It looks like my skin, but also looks like my face was beat. I don't know. It just, it has that right combination. It's only like $29, which is I don't know it's makeup I feel like for Sephora 
I put nothing past it. Like the price tags, they don't scare me at Sephora, okay? The next product I would recommend you try is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. Um, we are approaching summertime, which means you're probably not going to want like a lot of makeup on your face, which I get. But this one, she's not budging. She's not going anywhere. So if you have oily skin and you want to have like a foundation that's really not going to move throughout the summertime, get the NARS Soft Matte Foundation, okay? She... She's just going to uphold through the weather. She lasts all day and I just feel like she gets better throughout the day. The last foundation that I want to recommend to you guys is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It's been around for a minute. It's just one of those foundations that just looks so good on the skin. It looks refreshed. It looks like, you know, another one of those like your skin but better kind of foundations. Um, they have a pretty good shade range, I would say, and it just looks so nice on the face. Basically, for the spring and summertime, I have three different foundations. So if you prefer light coverage, I would definitely suggest you go into the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint direction. If you're looking for more medium, kind of buildable coverage, then I would suggest you go with Armani Luminous Silk. And if you want that full coverage... You want that she's not going nowhere type of coverage then the nars soft matte foundation okay i love all three of these foundations for their own you know they're they're in their own lane to me and i would use them all for different purposes so yeah it just depends on the type of day or night i'm having on which foundation or on which one i'm going to choose but um equally i think they're all amazing products and if you haven't already definitely check them out another product that i would definitely recommend is the sephora micro smooth powder if you have not already picked one up i suggest you do it now or i mean it's not even expensive it's 20 dollars. so um i mean you can get it on sale you can get it right now it doesn't matter um but it just lays on top of your makeup so effortlessly like it just gives this flawless smooth like it just pulls the face together, okay? When you dust off the powder, use it all over your face to set it. It's just chef's kiss, okay? The Sephora Micro Smooth Powder is amazing. I feel like everyone talks about it. So if you haven't, now is the time to finally try it, okay? Um, it's just, it's so good. It's so good, okay? And the last product that I would like to recommend to you all is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Powder. You know, the stuff that I use in pretty much all of my foundation reviews to kind of clean up the oils. It's just a powder that is so flawless, okay? I use it whenever I need a touch up. It just makes my skin look that much better. It makes the touch ups look seamless and it's just the powder is amazing okay it soaks up all of the oils all the excess that's on my face and it just does it so flawlessly okay it is rather pricey so i would definitely take advantage during the sale if you've kind of been browsing if you've been interested in it i would definitely recommend that you pick it up during the spring event and yeah that is all the products that i have to recommend to you all um so now we're gonna get into my wish list items or things that i'm thinking about purchasing myself so if you're interested in hearing what those things are i don't really have much to say about them because they're products i haven't used but if you're interested in seeing what i'm thinking about buying then i got you like in my cart i have my dr dennis gross uh the pads just because I ran out and I'm going to be getting the $35 treat I mean the 35 treatments just because I need it <laughs> um I need another pharmacy green clean makeup removing cleansing balm so I'll be getting that um I'm picking up the beauty blender like the liquid cleanser to like wash your sponges because I don't know I usually just use um face wash <laughs> um and it's it's okay it's okay but it takes a little bit more time I feel like so 
I had a sample of the the liquid beauty cleanser thing and it just cut my time in half and I was amazed so I was like you know what maybe there's a reason that people buy the actual cleaning stuff and not just use face wash so um, I'm gonna get that um skin fix resurface and glycolic renewing body scrub so I've been trying to get more into body care so I just want to feel soft <laughs> is basically it um and I've seen some people talk about skin fix recently so I just wanted to try that and maybe their um like their all over body cream situation so I just want to see if it's gonna make my skin feel soft <laughs> um I wanted to pick up I have a small Sol de Janeiro um the bum bum cream so I wanted to pick up like a bigger one because it smells so good it's perfect scent for like the summertime it just smells like coconuts and just it smells really good okay um I also wanted to try the Tom Ford um Sole Blanc shimmering body oil it's um so I have like a little sample of the Sole Blanc um perfume and it smells really good it smells like vacation vibes it's just like another like coconutty kind of feel to it I don't know it smells expensive okay so I want to try the shimmering body oil and see if that gives the same vibe because like I said I'm trying to do I'm trying to get more into body care this year and I don't know I'm just I want to smell good and I want to look good so that's where my coins are going um I also want to try the Armani Luminous Silk Under Eye Concealer. Um, I heard that it's really good and it's like butter almost. So um, I'm not really, I don't really have a concealer right now that I'm just like, wow, I need to use this every single day. So I, I feel like I'm always on a concealer hunt low key. Like I get one, I'm like, oh, this one's cool. And then I kind of forget about it. But yeah, I heard really good things about the Armani one. So fingers crossed that that one's good and yeah I don't know I'm gonna have to look some more that's all the things that I'm kind of interested in right <laughs> so that's all the things I'm like interested in right now um of course Sephora has a tight hold on me so I'm gonna be on there up until I'm able to shop looking for more things to buy but until then, that is just what's in my cart right now. And of course, I'll probably update you guys on what I actually purchased from the sale. <laughs> that's everything that I'm recommending and everything that's on my wish list as of right now. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking about picking up or what you want to try or what you think I should try. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.